from the state of Minnesota, Ole Anderson and his team partner, Arn Anderson. Alan Robert Rogowski was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He started wrestling in 1967 in the American Wrestling Association as Rock Rogowski. He went on to work for National Wrestling Alliance, Jim Crockett Promotions and Georgia Championship Wrestling, where he adopted the ring name Ole Anderson, and became a member of the legendary tag team called the Minnesota Wrecking Crew. The Minnesota Wrecking Crew, and I don't care who wants to wrestle. Ole was a rough, gruff, tough son of a bitch. And when I passed through WCW, I got along just great with him. I really enjoyed uh, Ole. Sing ring. I'll sue you. Hang up there. Shut up for about five seconds. Shut up and don't say a word. I'm as serious as I can be. You know, he was just so damn good and so damn believable. And then, and that's probably one of the reasons that he was stabbed back then. The team of Ole and Gene became synonymous with tag team wrestling and Jim Crockett promotions and Georgia Championship Wrestling. When Gene stopped wrestling in 1981, the team was disbanded. Ole Anderson reformed the Minnesota Wrecking Crew with Arn Anderson as his partner. Ole and Arn, one of my favorite tag teams of all time. But Ole had great instincts and, and uh, uh, dang, he was really smart. I like him, he was honest. He was brutally honest, yeah. but you know, a lot of guys didn't like what he, what he told them, but he was telling them the truth. In 1985, he became part of the original The Four Horsemen, with Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, and J.J. Dillon. The Four Horsemen are back in the The Four Horsemen! He managed to win over 40 tag team championships, and not just with his various family members. In addition to Lars, Gene, and Arn, other notable partners of Anderson include Ox Baker, Ronnie Garvin, Ernie Ladd, and Stan Hansen. As an in-ring competitor, he started wrestling in 1967 and retired in 1990. On behalf of wrestling superstars, our condolences to the family, friends and fans of Ole Anderson.